Hey guys, I'm back. So, uh, the Lord put this other thing in my heart. Um, you know, a lot of things I say obviously is very politically incorrect, but it does not matter because it comes straight from God's throne, from the courts of heaven, from God's very own words in his book, you know, uh, to cast out all these lies and, uh, people who exalt themselves against the word of God. So, uh, there's this topic that nobody really likes to talk about, but it's very well known. Uh, you know, the fact that most we most black women are bald and they don't understand why they blame it on like, oh, we, we use too much chemicals for our hair, it's the glue and too much braiding. But that's not it because, you know, I, I did, I, when I was in Hollywood, I did all kinds of stuff to my hair all the time. I bleached it, you know, and, and it, it's, it's just not like that. It's only black women who grow bald. And let me tell you why, because let me tell you this first, uh, this verse her, here. But if a woman has long hair, it is a glory to her, for her hair is given to her as a covering. 1 Corinthians eleven fifteen. So, you know, I, I have such long hair and it grows so fast all the time that I'm constantly having to cut it. As y'all see, it's constantly growing. Uh, and it says it is a glory to her, not to her shame. You know, and let me read this to y'all, this, uh, this little article I found. It says, a, stu a study three years ago of almost 6,000 women of African descent by Boston University Stone Etymology Center found that almost 48% of respondents had suffered hair loss on the crown or on the top of the head, mostly caused by attraction alo alopecia. That's not what it's caused by, but let me keep going. Given the topic tends to be shrouded in silence, the true figure may be higher. All of them. It says, if we all had to take off our wigs at work, eight out of ten women would have hair issues. It's just something we don't and won't talk about. We are very ashamed of it, says Band Bandal, this black woman. So she says, we are very ashamed of it. So see, God's people don't walk around feeling shameful. God's people are walking around filled with glory and long hair. See? But if a woman has long hair, it's a glory to her. But yet this black woman says, you know, all the black women feel, you know, shameful because they're bald. And I, as a woman, can understand because that's part of your beauty. It's part of, you know, just natural women, you know, having long hair. It's feminine. But without hair, you're just bald, nappy-headed, you know, crusty head, you know, walking around with your shame. Your shame will follow you everywhere you go. No matter how much money you try to buy, you know, to buy wigs. But before I go further, let me read to you this verse that God himself did that to you. God Almighty, my husband, did that to you. Let me read to you what the Lord God says. Because remember, there's a lot of these, you know, you will know a man by his fruits. There's all these like black women claiming to be the bride of Christ. And many church people out there claiming Jesus was black. But to their shame, their shame follows them everywhere. You'll know a man by his fruits. Look at Africa. And now all the African women are bald headed. And this is what God says about that. The Lord says, the women of Zion are haughty, walking around with outstretched necks. You know how they're always like this with the attitude, like haughty, haughtiness, okay? The women of Zion are haughty, walking along with outstretched necks, flirting with their eyes, strutting along with swaying hips, you know, all that twerking, with ornaments jingling on their ankles. Therefore, the Lord, the Lord will bring sores on the heads of the women of Zion. The Lord will make their scalps bald. In that day, the Lord will snatch away her, their finery, the bangles and headbands and crescent necklaces, the earrings and bracelets and veils, the headdresses and anklets and sashes, and perfume bottles and charms, the signet rings and nose rings, the fine robes and the capes and cloaks, the purses and mirrors and the linen garments and tiaras and shawls. Instead of fragrance, there will be a stench. Instead of a sash, a rope. Instead of well-dressed hair, baldness. Instead of fine clothing, sackcloth. Instead of beauty, branding. 
Your men will fall by the sword. Your warriors in battle. This is why all the black men kill themselves a lot. This Because it's God's judgment. Your men will fall by the sword. Your warriors in battle. The gates of Zion, Zion will lament and mourn. Destitute. She will sit on the ground. Ooh. This is Isaiah. I'll leave it in the description box. So you see, that's about all the black women and those who follow their trends, even all the Hollywood women, they all, every single one of them have to wear hair weaves, hair extensions, you know, because the, this is all the black women. So it's a shame that they go around still claiming to be, you know, God's bride and this and that, but yet they're bald. God beautifies his people. He beautifies us with his salvation, his armor of righteousness, his glory, uh, even the simple things as long hair. You know, he beautifies his bride. <laughs> Surely he beautifies his own people. But to the wicked, your shame will follow you. So a lot of people don't want to talk about this because it is a shameful topic. It's embarrassing and you know imagine being on a date with someone and then you try to make out with her and then her hair fall, and like her whole w wig falls off on your bed like a dead rat. <laughs> it's it's not sexy, it's not it's not good, it's not beautiful. You know men want to run their hair in their woman's hair, their hands in their hair, you know, beautiful you want to pull on it a little bit. <laughs> but you know when you pull on it their hair is like the wig falls out and then scabies and and all kinds of scalps on their head, scalps bald. So this is the word of the Lord. So this is why, uh, this is their shame that follows them because that's why God said they can sit that sit out there and post all these videos, say all these things in the church congregations, act all wickedly out there. But to those of us with eyes to see, the Lord says, you will know a man by his fruits. When you look at them, you'll see the shame. Follow them everywhere they go. No matter what they claim, no matter what they do, God's word is like heaping burning coals of fire on their heads. All right? Cause so, therefore, the Lord will bring sores on the heads of the women of Zion. The Lord will make their scalps bald. There's no one more bald than the black women. You know, so y'all need to think about this and repent and wonder and ask yourself why. Because you might, you know, I'm sure you do feel the most oppressed out of all mankind. Because it's true. But you have to think about why. Why? Do you Are you trying to say God is not just in his dealings with you? Is God cruel? And is he not righteous in his dealings with you? Okay, guys. So that's all I wanted to say.